Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds 2017. We are finally back with this series. Um, we were waiting for Burning Shadows to hit. In the meantime we were filling up our Pokedex in the TCG Pokedex series. And today we are finally back with one of the most hyped and talked about decks in the current format, which is Gardevoir GX. Now, Gardevoir GX, of course, um, I'm sure many of you know that it won the equivalent to Japan Nationals, so that's why it's been hyped so, so much. Their format is different, but the deck list used by the winner um, only needed one card to, to be transferred to our current modified format. Um, I know a lot of you guys are super excited about the post-format rotation for Worlds and everything, but I do have to focus on Worlds right now because it is the next biggest tournament of the season. And the Anaheim Open is also taking place, so a lot of people will want to, to hear about that. So we have Gardevoir GX with 130 HP, Secret Spring Ability, which allows you to attach extra fairy energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon, no matter which one. You also get to use Infinite Force for 30 damage times the number of energy attached to Gardevoir GX, and Twilight GX, which allows you to shuffle 10 cards from your discard pile into your deck. Now, this GX attack essentially should say, I don't like Garbodor, and I'm going to counter Garbodor 100%. So, Drempagarb should really struggle against this deck quite a bit, especially thanks to the Kalade. So, if Drempagarb is an issue for you, definitely try this deck out. Now, we do have a 4 3 4 one line, the Kalade is there. With its ability, Premonition and Artillery, it's a really nice combo, although you're not relying on it. Um, there's no reason not to run Galate because it does offer an un EX or GX attacker, has a pretty nice amount of HP, and an alternative typing to Gardevoir. And since it is played, it's actually a pretty decent attack as well. And this pretty much, this paired with the Darkness Resistance from Gardevoir GX basically means that you want to you want to play Darkrai every round in the upcoming tournaments. And we also have Kirlia, which doesn't do anything doesn't do anything too splendid, uh, just max and magical shots for energy, and neither does Ralts, just draining kisses and heals and damage, but if you're attacking with Ralts, you're probably in a, in a bit of a pickle right there. Now we have the 2 Lele and 1-1 one, one Artillery line for support, and we have the 1 Dianti, which is from the new set. Sparkling Wish allows you to search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. So basically it's like a Wally. Um, we are bonding Float Stones and the Bridget in order to find the Diancy. It won't be used every single game, but it's a nice card to have right there. And that's why we have the thicker 4-3-4 line of Cardivore instead of just 4-2-4. And we do run 4 Rare Candy. Now we have 4 Sycamore, 3N, 1 Lysander and 1 Kuzma. I feel like the split is justified here because we do have Float Stones, but there might be instances where you don't have a Float Stone, so you need the Lysander. Um, there will be other instances where you want to kill a special condition or something, so those cards I feel like are justified. Um, Skyla as well for support, to get the rare candy, to get the ultra Ball, to get the missing choice band, to get the extra damage, the, the float zone, to retreat, um, super and rescue stretcher for recovery, and of course via seeker and ultra Ball for draw. Um, four double colorless and Eight basic fairy energy in order to attach energy every single turn. Um, super out for recovery as well. And now the winners list did use Fisherman. I have been trying out Fisherman a little, but it hasn't been really working out well enough to justify using it. So this will be the card that we, the deck rather that we will be using for today. And let's jump into the ladder. Hopefully, I am recording this today, as you are watching it. If you are watching it, the day it got released, I am recording it today. And yeah, hopefully we get some good games in. Hopefully people have been able to build the decks by now, the new decks. And yeah, today we're featuring Guard of War. Tomorrow there will be Kalissa, but I will be recording all day today. And there will be videos uh, throughout the weekend as well. So from now until Worlds, until day one of Worlds, there will be videos non-stop on the channel, guys. And I will also be trying to live stream as well, if you want to catch that. Um, we had a pretty okay hand. Not necessarily ideal. Um, our opponent does send a, a cute card, so we'll send one back. 
And... I mean, no, actually, we don't get Ant, it's actually pretty good. And we're up against Volcanion, which is awesome to see Volcanion. This is the order I will feature. Today is Gardevoir, tomorrow is Colossopod. Um, Sunday is Volcanion, and then after that, I'm not entirely sure on the order, but yeah, my opponent gets the perfect turn 1 Kiawe into Lele, or Lele into Kiawe. Now, who is he going to power up, Turtonator or Volcanion? He chooses to power up Turtonator, which makes sense. So, wow, but only 3 energy, why? Why? Why would you choose not to attach all 4? I generally do not know. I generally do not know why my opponent would choose to do that. However, yeah, we have an okay hand in the sense that we can get a turn to Gardevoir, but what we can't do is do much else afterwards. Um, because, yeah, I Lele for Bridget here, and then I have to hope. I also have to retreat into something that I'm willing to sacrifice, which is probably the Diancy. Um, okay, so I do this. I could also attack with a Lele to pressure the Turtonator. Because he went for Turtonator. Yeah, I think that's the right thing here. He went for Tur Turtonator because Turtonator discards energy and therefore Gardevoir has a harder time knocking it out, right? However, if we are able to, to pressure, yeah, and the Diancy, yeah, I shouldn't have gone for the Diancy, I should have gone for another Ralts. Yeah, but I still think, like, we have a lot of outs here. We have a lot of outs. Wolf Trouble would be a terrible top deck. Full Trouble would actually be a terrible top deck. But here we're telling my opponent, if you don't knock me out, I will knock you out. And... With a single Fairy Energy, I'd be able to pressure the Turtonator at least. Um, okay, so my opponent Full Trouble's away a Sycamore, and, and then... For a Baby Volcanion. That probably means he has, he's going to Sycamore anyway. And N would be amazing, but I really doubt it. And yeah, we have a ton of outs, but we might also just completely whiff. You see Via Seeker for Sycamore? Yep. Darn it. So close. So close, guys. And wow, another N. Okay, so my opponent has all the supporters we wish we had. <laughs> and yeah, I think this should be a good matchup for Gardevoir. However... We're going to end up struggling a little bit, just because of our current hand. And we do have a lot of outs, but we also have a lot of whiffs. Decides? Okay, so he decides to not go aggressive with the Turtonator. And will in fact just use Fable King into it for 50. Okay. He's also running the special fire energy. Wow, I top deck the end. That was a pretty lucky top deck, I'm not going to lie. So we will help my opponent in this situation. Okay, so once again we're stuck. <laughs> once again we are actually stuck, but now we have double guard of our GX point. Um, see, I kinda want to save my energy. I kinda want to save my energy here. Eh. I think I'll attach one. Oh, you know, ah, uh, that was silly. I should have retreated into Diancy and evolved Grimory into Octillery. That's what I should have done. Um, yeah, I feel like doing that would have won me a match for sure, because I would have had a decent enough setup to make sure I could I could win. Lily is just a sitting dot right there. Lele is just a saving dodge. Okay, you see, finding Fury Dogs. So we are once again 10 off from knocking out Turtonator. You see the Starmie. However, it seems difficult for my opponent to be able to retreat. Um, yeah, my opponent can actually knock me out here. 
Um, he discards a fire. He can only get one fire, though. I don't know if he knew that. He does go for a steam up. And he will power here. So no energy in this discard pile of my opponent. I really should have been treated that with Dianti. That was a really bad call. That was a really, really bad call on my part. Yeah. I would have had a much better turn here. Much better turn. Now I do have the field board, so I can still knock out the I can still knock out the Turtonator. Okay, my opponent decides to use Acer Rolla. So probably going to take a knockout here with Turtonator. What? No? What? What is going on? I do not understand that play. Here's the energy once again. Oh, he has a switch. Okay, so the card in his hand is the Finding Fury Belt, which he chooses to discard for energy for Starmie. Okay. An opponent making some very, very weird plays, obviously. Some very weird plays. He's also dead drawing. Okay, there's the fairy energy. So I'm going to do what I should have done way, way earlier. Way earlier. I'm just going to Sparkling Wish, get the artillery, and now it should be good to go. Now we really should be good to go. Now we just need either Lysander or the Cosma to start putting pressure on my opponent, and if we manage to knock out that Turtonator, that should pretty much be game. That should definitely pretty much be game. Even if he knocks out my Gardevoir, that should be game. But no, he actually doesn't, he isn't able to do so. I do top deck an N. However, I would love to find a Lysander of some sort. Um, yeah, I don't want to end. I definitely do not want to end. I'll play the field blower to get rid of these two cards. Mm, actually, I don't need to discard the fighting field belt. Eh, that's fine. The stadium's not really helping him, helping him too much, right? And I don't. So I'm just going to Sparkling Wish here and try to set up a Glade or yet another part of our GX. That also works too. Mm. But yeah, having the energy available to me is really, really good. Those are the last two TTEs, but I don't need that many to get knockouts. Basically, I just need to find my my Cosma. And yeah, my opponent just completely dead right here. <laughs> I get another. Uh, Sycamore, so I do lose a DC, but I don't think it's a big deal. And well, still not going to be able to. Still not going to be able. Mm, I don't have any more DC, so I'm just gonna grab Gardevoir. Still not going to be able to find uh, the Guzma or the Lysander. I hope my opponent finds a fire energy and he and he steam up for the knockout. But no. My opponent dead drawing. Just so that I would have the open space so I could full trouble for Lele for Full trouble for Lele for the knockout. Um kill very damage for each of your fairy Pokemon. <laughs> I could actually start doing that. Um I just, I want to knock the turtle in your eye. That's all I need to do here to win, basically. Essentially, all I need to do. So I could just, I could also just go on the offensive on this whole thing. And, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to end my opponent. I think. Okay, I'm going to touch the fairy here. And I'm going to end. It's not that big a deal. Just, I can't discard that many resources for sure. And with two um, Gardevoir GXs powered up, I feel pretty confident now. I definitely feel pretty confident, and I'm just gonna use Infinite Force. I could have taken Knockout, but I also don't want to give him the free retreat into the Turtonator to allow him to knock me out. 
I mean, I could have it. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal. I think we should have this deck, this game one, with the triple Gardevoir. We really should have this game one. And even with the fine gear belts, we can take the knockout. Okay, so you find the Olympia, that's fine. Does he have the double? He keeps using Storm. Before having the double steam up. That makes no sense. You would have to steam up and then recover. And then, yeah. Okay, that's fair. Oh, he, all, he had already used the steam up. That's fine. That is actually fine. Um, we have the knockout with this card of war because of the way we split the energy. Also, the choice band is enough. So, yes, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 150. Yep. So, I'm gonna put back one Ralph, one card of war, and one fairy energy. And I'm just going to end here. I'm just going to end here. Um, no routes, but we do find the quest now, which is pretty good. I'm gonna use the stadium. There's nothing I need or I can get. We are running low on the energy department, but we're probably going to be taking just one KOs to win the game every single turn from here now. So we should be good. We should be good. Get an extra energy of the price card, which is always great. Always, always great. There's the energy. Even with triple steam up, he doesn't get the knockout. He needs triple steam up and the final fear belt. So, yeah. And there's no chance he has quadruple steam up. He needs Fighting Fury Belt or Choice Band, but there's already two Fighting Fury Belts in the discard pile. Well, three, actually. So, unless he has a fourth, we should be good here. Unless he has a fourth, we should be good. And this should be game. Be a Seeker. I mean, he could go after my top away like, for sure. He's, he's just going to end here. Yep, first team up. There's the end. And uh, that's perfectly fine. I mean, we want to target whatever has energy, right? Field blower removes the choice band. That's fine. We still get the knockout here. We still manage the knockout. We see a floatstone. And we see a retreat, okay. So my opponent forced to play passively here. Uh, forced to get some damage on the Cardivore before taking a knockout. So once again, what we want here is a Lysander or a Guzma. Really wish I had either of those in my discard battle. That would surely mean game. I still think we are okay here though. Well, could come down to the way, way. <sighs> Could come down to the way, way for sure. I might have to retreat and attack with this card board now. And okay, so I'm gonna secret spring this fairy onto this card of war. Gonna secret spring once again onto this card of war. And then I'm going to artillery for two cards. Odds are I won't get it, but I do. I do hit the Ultra Ball. So Ultra Ball. There's no second Lele in my deck. Ugh. There's no second Lele in my deck. So uh, either I Sycamore or I Skyla for the. Or I Skyla for the thingy, but ugh. 
This is annoying. Okay, I find the floatstone, so that's what I was going for. That way I don't lose my my energy and I still get a knockout here. And my opponent has one card in hand. So what are the odds? I mean this is essentially a lost turn for me. Unless I'm able okay, there's a light center that really helps. Yeah, does in fact help. All for Red Canyon in the discard pile. Okay. Okay. So now he needs quadruple steam up to get a knockout. If he doesn't get a knockout this turn, that should be game. He goes for the Sycamore. Okay. Energy to Tor Generator. Is he gonna go for the GX attack? Yeah, he is. Okay. We still win too. We definitely still win because we have the Lysander now. So we have Lysander and be a Seeker. So what we want to do is make our deck as thin as possible here in case we get end. But we still have artillery, so we should be good here. Should have this this game won for sure. I believe we should have this game won for sure. Um, even decides to attach energy to Lele. Okay, so we definitely lie under the floatstone volcano. So we have a knockout here. So what we want to do is get the Curlia. And we can also. And we know there's a Curlia in the deck, right? Um, keeping the Sycamore, I mean, it's not strictly bad. There's a Guzmer. There's more energy as well. So yeah, we should be good. How many DS Seekers have I played? Two, this is the third. So in my prize cards, there's a Lele. Um, I'm actually scared about the retreating part. So I'm not going to attach this energy, even though I have another one. Okay, but I do get the energy, so I guess I'll attach the energy to the Kirlia, that's fine. And I get a knockout here. After this knockout, no matter what comes up, like if something... We can even knock out a Lele, and we get Via Seeker and Lele. So even an N2-1, we have Lele, two Via Seekers, and the Kuzma. We have four outs in a 10-card deck. And we would be drawing half our deck. So, yeah, this should be game. This should definitely be game. We only have one energy left. That's the biggest potential problem here. But even a Lysander to stall, like a Lysander plus Field Blower, that would be annoying. But I think we would still be fine. That's the one. Situation where having Lysander in a discard pile instead of Cosma would hurt us. So. Hmm. Okay, we see a steam up. Yeah, so th this card of our GX is not going down. And if he targets either of the bench Pokemon on my bench, <laughs> the bench Pokemon on my bench, that's a bit redundant. But yeah, we are good here. We do see the end, and basically, if my opponent doesn't attack me right here, I win. If he retreats, I probably still win. And I even top the pick up the easy So I can evolve that, and off of the next, like my deck will be 8 cards. 4 of those are useful, and I'll be looking at the top 5. So there's absolutely no way I do not get a Lysander to win this match next turn. Absolutely no way. So yeah. 
My opponent did that draw quite a bit, just like with it. I also made the misplay of not evolving into my artillery. If we had evolved into the artillery, I feel like this game would have ended a lot sooner. And we actually end up top decking the Gutma. And we can just knock out this card in 4 game. We can just knock out the star meat for him, and there's a victory. Okay, so let's jump into the next match. Let's jump into the next match, try to keep the win streak alive, and see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You have a good deck, says my opponent. So we're mulliganing a lot. Thankfully you don't oh no, you actually do have to put the Oh we're we're in a mirror match actually. This should be very interesting. My opponent is going first, however. The opponent is going first. I'm still gonna start their routes, but I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Mirror matches. Gardevoir mirror matches are probably very tricky. Wait, what? Cosmoem? What? Why is there a Cosmoem in my opponent's deck? What am I missing here? Why is there a Cosmoem in my opponent's deck? Okay, so maybe this is well didn't we see Gardevoir in the mulligan? There's no like what evolution are you playing? Are you playing Soul Galio for the mirrors? Are you playing Lunala to transfer around energy but you're not using seismic energy so there's no energy you can transfer around? This makes no sense. This actually makes no sense to me. I don't know what is going on. I got Pokemon. Wait. Did my opponent see my... Did, so he's not playing part of work? I thought it was a mirror. Yeah, it probably saw my hand. <clears throat> we see TTs. Yeah, this must be right causes all value then. No, there's the fairy. What is this? Yeah, I saw his hand. I saw his card. There's a lady. I have no idea what is going on right here, guys. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, this Bridget will give us a little bit more idea of what is going on right now. This will bridge it for... Oh, okay... It's a Cernia deck With... What? With Cosmo? What? I have no idea what is going on. Okay. I, however, do not like the fact that my opponent has a very small hand, but there's no way I don't end here. Okay, we get double routes, which is awesome. And I'm actually just going to bench one route. I don't think my routes, my current active routes is left in the I mean, well, yeah, he could retreat into Lele and attach another DC, but there's already a DC in the discard pile. And he probably wants to use a couple of turns of Geomancy. I just, I don't get the Cosmog. Why, why do you play the Cosmog, man? Okay, I'm not playing the route because I might want to... Um, Ultra Ball for Lele, for Skyla, for Rare Candy? Yeah, I don't think I lose anything by not playing the, the other routes. And if I get end, I get end. That's no big deal. You get a Draining Kiss for 10 damage. Which, if it's a Soul Galeo GX for some reason, which it could be, it very well could be a Soul Galeo GX with Rainbow Energies and to use the GX attack to 
who get five energy into play. That'd be really weird though. Really, really weird. You see an energy on the Cernias, and he discards two energy to place two energy. Which doesn't make much sense to me. But hey, we'll take it. It should be, as, as I'm seeing things, it should be a pretty easy match, honestly. You get a Psychic. Um, I mean, a Fairy. I don't know why I said Psychic. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's two things I can do here. I can just go for the Artillery, straight up, or go Lele for... Lele Skyla. Oh, Artillery is priced. Never mind. So this is the right way. Uh, Skyla is not priced. Good. Okay. So, we haven't searched our deck before, right? So, yeah, we had only played that. So, I have no way of knowing if the Artillery was priced. I'm going to Skyla for the rare candy. And yeah, we don't get too much going here. My opponent does get an extra turn of Geomancy, but I don't think that's a problem. I'll just infinite force here for 90 damage. And no matter if he evolves or not, that turn is it's going down. I just, I don't understand the Cosmo. I don't understand the Cosmo concept. Someone please explain it to me. Please, please, please explain it to me. There's a rainbow. Okay, so that's a rare candy into Soul Cover GX into Soul Burst GX. To attach more energy. Okay, now it makes a little bit more sense. Soul Kaleo GX is very scary though. Soul Kaleo GX here is definitely very scary. Now my opponent didn't do anything though. He didn't do anything besides Geomancy, so his hand is probably not very good. But I don't think I shouldn't not end here. There's no reason for me not to end here. Because I want to develop my board as well. Yeah. So you get a TCE. We do have our routes in the discard pile. Um, I will, however, search for the last routes. And yeah, we have a pretty good time here. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna touch the TC just yet, just because I don't want to get punished heavily by that type of Lele. So I'm just gonna infinite force, and if my opponent for some reason decides to attack me with Tapu Lele, I can attach the TC then and take a knockout. I also find up another Floodstone. Um, so you're break to dealing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 100 damage, which is no big deal. And we can knock out next turn with an extra energy. So yeah, 100 damage is nothing to write home about at this point of the match. Yeah, we're good here. We're actually very good. The DC is like iffy. I would love to attach a fairy instead of the DC, but it's also no big deal. We really should have this game won. My opponent's deck is a, a tad bit underwhelming. I, I understand the concept of the Soul Galio, but Elixirs and Soul Galio and the Cernia Spray and Red Candy, and it's just too much. It's trying to do way too much. Way too much. So yeah, Troy Fan, so now it's on run 30 damage. That means Tapodole will be able to finish off my Heart of War. Okay, so. Do see a potential Cosmon, yeah. So there's a potential for a Soul GX. Even with that, I don't think we're in too much trouble. Even with that. Of course, I'd love to have a Light Sender to pressure that. But our follow up Gardevoir GXs should be good to go here. Finally, hits an Elixir. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 170 damage. Pretty respectable. Pretty, pretty respectable. 170 damage. Yeah. 
So with this old WGX, he essentially guarantees... Oh, that topic was terrible. He essentially guarantees that he'll be able to knock out two Gardevoir GXs. This DC top deck is actually so bad. That was one of the worst possible top decks. Um, okay, so I get Gardevoir, but I also don't get follow-up energy. Yikes. This is not good. This is actually not good at all. So yes, we take another tier, but our guard of war is going down as well. We get the October, which is nice. Um, once again, Galate not being too useful here. And yeah, taking a knockout on this Lele is going to be really hard. Really, really hard. Can we guarantee the knockout? Yes, with an overall into Lele, into teammates, but we're not running teammates. Yeah, we need a lot of cards. We need way too many cards. And my opponent is this end, so that's an even bigger drawback. <laughs> okay, so maybe we don't have the game one. <laughs> maybe we actually do not have the game one. If I had a fairy, I could... No, Sky was in the crystal ball. Probably going to have to lay late for six or more here. And try and get that knockout. Our deck is relatively thin though, and we did hit the DC, which is what's one of the missing pieces here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 energy. This trouble for the break or for Soul Gallium GX? Wow. Okay, so my opponent, slowly but surely, is really threatening us. Really, really threatening us. Okay. So we for sure need a knockout here. And we don't necessarily need to knock out this old Galio. I'll take the Lysander, but I can't take a knockout. So, yeah, with anything. So I just have to sit up right here and try to get a knockout on this way. But basically, two fairy and a Gardevoir, or a fairy and a choice band, does the trick. And, okay, we get the double Gardevoir and we get the choice band. We don't get the fairy. However, we do. We do get artillery, which is another very important piece of the puzzle here. A very important piece of the puzzle. Um, I will super out back a Ralts and the two fairies. I do need a ton of energy here to get back into this. <laughs> get back into this it sounds really strange, but it is true. Um, I will attach the choice band here, and basically, because I'm going to be dealing with non-GXs from now on, because it's going to be really hard to knock out that Soul Galio, um, yeah, Secret Spring onto this Gardevoir. Bench the route, and now, do I want to play the field or Can I get knocked out here? I don't think so, right? I get a knockout on Lele, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 energy. Plus a DC on 40, 170. But he's probably going to take a knockout with Soul Galio. However, I mean, it is one less card in my deck. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna take a knockout. So basically, from here on out, what we need are, are our Lysanders. Because that's Soul Galio. We're not going to do a Soul Galio. We're definitely not going to be able to knock out the Soul Galio here. So attacking the Soul Galio is essentially useless, unless we can get a super big hit on the, on the Soul Galio. Um, we have the last DC in hand, however, 
I'm gonna probably end this here. Wonder if he runs all four rainbow energy. Four rainbow, four TP. I really doubt he runs four rainbow. Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. Okay, instruct for two. He doesn't have the energy. Okay, he gets the energy. But well, that's fine, I think. That is fine. He gets to discard all energy, or he has to discard all energy. He only has four energy in play. That's nowhere near enough to knock out one of my Leylates. And we got to keep the, the double color buff. And there's a top deck. A pretty good top deck. So we definitely have to go all out here on the Garden War. So can we? Can we find a Lysander or a Gosma? Nope, we cannot. So do I just Sycamore? Yeah, I think I have to Sycamore to thin out my deck and guarantee I can get two hits in on this whole Galleon. For sure. So, yeah, now we retreat. And we cannot lose here, right? We cannot lose. We're not doing something strange. We cannot lose here. Like on the next turn. There's no way he powers up Soul Galio. We only deal 120, but that's enough to do it with Soul Galio. We have the Via Seeker, we have the Cosma. Our deck is literally 9 cards. So even if we get N down to 2, we should be able to pull this up. We should be able to find a Light, a Cosma, or Via Seeker. And if it's not right, we should still have a Via Seeker in the deck. So. Should be good here. Unless he plays something like a Max Potion. That would be a big problem. Max Potion is the only thing here that prevents us from winning, I think. Or something like a Center Lady. Something like a Pokemon Center Lady would actually be quite detrimental. Is he not going to end? Nope, he's not going to end, so that's the game. That is the game. And we're actually going to be able to do a ton of damage with our Gardevoir. And yeah, he was preparing the Ranguru in order to knock us out. However, we do have seven, seven energy. <laughs> My opponent's broken heart. And yeah. And an infinite force for a bajillion damage. <laughs> and there you go. So yeah. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. The deck runs pretty well, I would say. Um, I, I think this is a solid base list to start off with guys. Um, there's definitely many many options that you can include in the deck. Uh, the DMC I feel like is, is the one charge you could take out. The lead on paper seems useful, the typing seems useful. I don't know if it's really necessary. But yeah. This will be all for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you can. It really helps out the channel and I will see you guys tomorrow for some progress of action. Thank you guys and bye bye.